Welcome guys, my name is Pranshi Verma. In today's session, we are going to discuss Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Architect Associate Exam Cashin with Answers for your upcoming examination. And guys, exam code is 1Z01072. Okay, now let's begin the session. In this, your first question is Which cloud computing model offers the most control of your environment? Option A, Platform as a Service. Option B, Software as a Service. Option C, Infrastructure as a Service. And Option D, Database as a Service. Here, your correct answer is Option C, Infrastructure as a Service. Okay. Infrastructure as a Service provides you access to a collection of servers, storage, and network infrastructure onto which you deploy your platform and software. Okay. You have complete control of your environment, your development environment. Okay. So, infrastructure as a service, abbreviation is IAAS, cloud computing model offers the most control of your environment. Okay. Next question What infrastructure resource can't be provisioned in OCI? OCI is what? Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Okay, option A, NVMe storage, option B, networks, option C, CPU and RAM, option D, KVM switches. Here, your correct answer is option D, KVM switches. Okay, KVM switches stands for keyboard, video, mouse and KVM switches allows you to switch the use of keyboard, display and mouse between computers. Okay. KVM switches also commonly let you switch audio and USB devices between computers. But KVM switches are not applicable or relevant in OCI. Okay, OCI allows NVMe's storage, networks, CPU and RAM to be provisioned but not to be KVM switches. So here KVM switches infrastructure resource can't be provisioned in OCI. I. Okay. Next question. Which of the following statements is false? Statement 1 means option A is BM instances may be created based on available computer shapes. Option B block storage volumes can be added only to wear metal machines. Option C BM instances may share resources on physical servers with other tenants. Option D, block storage volumes can be added to both virtual and wear metal machines. Here, your false statement is option B. Block storage volumes can be added only to wear metal machines. Okay, because block storage volumes can be added to both. Means virtual as well as wear metal machines. Okay. So, this statement is false, but here correct answer is option B. Okay. Next question. What is the OCI term for a fault tolerant data center? Option A, availability zone. Option B, reason. Option C, virtual cloud network. Option D, availability domain. Here correct answer is option D, availability domain. Okay. And availability domain is a fault tolerant data center and is the OCI term means Oracle Cloud Infrastructure term. Okay guys, next question, which of the following statement is true? Option A, an availability domain is a collection of reasons. Option B, a reason is a collection of availability domains. Option C, an availability zone is a collection of reasons. Option D, two or more regions in a metro area are grouped into an availability domain. Here, your true and correct statement is option B. A region is a collection of availability domains. Okay. And at the other hand, option A, C, D, they all are wrong. Okay. So here, true statement is option B. This is a region is a collection of availability domains. Next question. Network performance is typically measured by which two metrics? Choose any two suitable answers. Option A, bandwidth and latency. Option B, round trip time and latency. Option C, throughput and bandwidth. 
Option D, isolation and disaster recovery. Here, your correct answer is network performance is typically measured by two metrics and they are bandwidth and latency metrics. Okay, respectively, because bandwidth and latency are key metrics used to measure network performance. Okay, next question. Which of the following statement is false? Option A. Instances is one region can connect to instances in another region. Option B. Availability domains in a region share power and cooling. Option C. Each availability domain is self-contained and highly fault tolerant. Option D. Failure of one availability domain is very unlikely to impact the availability of other availability domains in the reason here false statement is option b this is availability domains in a reason share power and cooling okay this statement is totally wrong totally false totally incorrect okay so here your correct answer is option b false statement is option b okay next question choose four stage types available on oci option a b c d are given here and here your correct answer is option c Four stage types available on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure are first one block volumes, second one object storage, third one archive storage and fourth one file storage. Okay, so here correct answer is option C. Block volumes, object storage, archive storage and file storage are four storage options available on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Okay, next question. A load balancing router routes traffic to backend servers based on which backend set routing algorithms. Option A, B, C, D are given here and here correct answer is option B. IP hash, baited round robin and least connections algorithms. Okay. A load balancing router routes traffic to backend servers based on IP hash algo, weighted round robin algo and least connections algo. Okay, because IP hash, weighted round robin and least connections are valid backend set routing algorithms that a load balancing router can use to route traffic to backend servers. Okay, next question. What is the unique Oracle assigned identifier for Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Resources known as? Here your correct answer is option A, OCID. Okay, OCID stands for Oracle Cloud ID. Okay, each Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Resource has a unique Oracle, uh, Oracle assigned identifier called an Oracle Cloud ID. Okay. Abbreviation is OCID. Okay, guys. Next question Which IAM resources are global and span reasons? Option A compartments, option B policies, option C computer instances, option D DBAAS. Okay, database as a service. Here, correct answers are option A and B both. Okay, compartments and policies. Okay, compartments, users, groups and policies. They all are global resources and span reasons. Where you create these IAM entities, they exist in all reasons to which your tenancy or cloud account has subscribed. Okay, next question. Which policy verbs authorize groups to interact with resources with the highest level of permission? Option A, inspect. Option B, read. Option C, administer. Option D, use. Here, correct answer is option D, use. Okay. The verbs to authorize groups to interact with the resources in order to lowest to lowest to highest labels of permission are inspect, read, use and manage okay therefore are i repeat inspect read use and manage okay next question which policy verbs authorize groups to interact with the resources in order from lowest to highest label of permission this is very simple the verbs in order to lowest to highest label of permission are inspect 
then read then use and then manage okay there is no administer verb in the policy syntax okay guys next question which is a capability of oci users but not federated users here option a can add api keys option b can generate auth tokens option c can use a local password for console access option d can generate customer secret keys here your correct answer is option c federated users have to use credentials from their identity provider to sign in okay my dear students federated users have to use credentials from their identity provider to sign in in oracle cloud but you can use a local password for console access as a oci user okay next question which of the following statement is true option a reason subscriptions occur at the ad level option b reason subscriptions occur at the compartment level option c reason subscriptions occur at the group level option d reason subscription occur at the tenancy level here your correct answer is option d and correct true statement is option d this is reason subscription occur at the tenancy level okay the reason subscription occur at the tenancy level all iam resources including policies are available in all reasons to which you tenancy has subscribed okay next question instances are added to dynamic groups based on what rules option a policy statements option b matching rules option c compartment oci id and oath token option d inheritance here correct answer is option b matching rules okay matching rules determine the inclusion or exclusion of of instances in dynamic groups okay instances are added to dynamic group based on matching rules okay next question matching rules that determine the inclusion or exclusion of instances in dynamic groups are based on one or more of the following here uh, correct answer is option a compartment oc id and instance oc id and tags respectively okay option a is correct because matching rules that determine the inclusion or exclusion of instances in dynamic groups are based on one or more of the following they are compartment oc id and computer instance oc id oc id i already explained to you tag name space and tag key as well as only tag name space and only tag key and tag value also okay i hope it's clear now next question where is a federated user in your tenancy authenticated here option a oci iam service option b idcs option c the identity provider where it was created option d active directory federation services here your correct answer is option c the identity provider where it was created okay a federated user in your tenancy authenticated in the id provided where they were created okay next question which resource is not an availability domain label resource option a compute instance option b subnet option c block volume option d object storage here your correct answer is option d object storage okay object storage buckets are an interesting regional resource an instance in ad usa sh1 ad1 may access a bucket in the region this is usa sh1 1 this bucket is equally accessible by another instance in in capital ad usa sh1 ad2 okay given the correct region specific object storage url and permissions this bucket is accessible from any location okay just learn it this is ad usa sh1 
AD2 and AD USA as such born AD1. Okay. Next question. What is the name given to the location where the master copy of OCI IAM resources are located? Option A home region. Option B primary IAM site. Option C identity provider. Option D tenancy. Here correct answer is option A. Home reason. Okay. IAM resources are available in all reasons. Okay. What is IAM? My dear students, IAM stands for identity and access management. Okay. Identity and access management resources are available in all reasons you have subscribed to but their master definitions always reside in the home reason okay so correct answer here is option a home reason home reason is the name given to the location where the master copy of oci iam resources are located okay guys now let's wind up the session see in the next session if you like the video please hit the like button make sure you subscribe to my channel for more updates if you want any help in any subject in any competitive examination for any interview purposes Kindly let me know in comment section. Thanks for watching this video. Please share this video with your friends. Bye bye. Take care. Have a good day.